I rise today in strong support of ACI 142, and I rise today not only for the recognition of the uh, numerous Korean Americans that reside in my district, but also on behalf of the Legislative Women's Caucus. And the reason is because as I've worked with the Korean community over the last several years, I've become very aware of their work on women's issues, and in particular uh, on the issue of recognizing the comfort women, who are the women who were victimized during World War II in Korea. Uh, my city, Glendale, was the first city on the West Coast to have a monument to recognize the Korean women and their struggles. And the Korean American community has been steadfast and resolute in making sure that those women who are becoming voiceless as more and more of them, unfortunately, um, die as we're you know, moving through the generations, that their voices are heard and that their memory is remembered. And not just for their family members, and to recognize their own personal struggles, but to also raise the consciousness of the world about the plight of women and children in war and how women and children are too often the victims of conflict and making sure that in their stories that those individuals are remembered as we move through other armed conflicts and that we always remember that while people go to war, it's often those that are left at home who suffer the most. So again, I stand in strong support of ACR 142. I hope that all of you will join us in recognizing uh, this uh, important day and, of course, the many contributions of the Korean American community. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.